Good morning everyone. In this episode we are going to discuss next topic that is implicit function. How to differentiate an implicit function. I hope you have practiced function of a function rule or chain rule and by heart the general form of uh, general uh, functions of differentiation derivative of sin x cos x tan x and its reciprocal e power x a power x 1 by x root x x power n all the stuff you have to by heart I have given one homework last class this is nothing but uh, cos of sin of x cube how to differentiate cos of sin of x cube so dy by dx is equal to dy by dv into dv by dw into dw by dx first time considering x cube as w so w is equal to x cube so dw by dx is nothing but 3x square so v is nothing but sin w i am considering w is nothing but x cube so after considering w is equal to x cube so sin of w is nothing but v so v is nothing but cos uh, sin w derivative with respect to w that is nothing but cos w similarly cos w cos w, uh, d, uh, dv by dw is nothing but cos w then after y is equal to cos v i am going to consider that means the entire sin of x cube have been considered as v so that y is equal to cos v so y is equal to cos v so uh, differentiate with respect to v so dy by dv is nothing but minus sin v so after substituting dy by dx is equal to dy by dv into dv by dw into dw by dx that is the answer minus sin of sin x cube into cos x cube into 3x square so hereafter we are going to discuss in this episode implicit function let us move on to this episode if anyone did not subscribe my channel please do subscribe and press the bell button let us move on to this episode so in this episode we are going to discuss implicit function so far we have discussed function of a function rule or chain rule in that section we have seen y is equal to f of x that means y is equal to some function in terms of x we have discussed in last episode previous episode we have discussed the function in terms of x y is equal to some function in terms of x so in the case of implicit function always the function need not be like this y is equal to f of x always the function need not be y is equal to f of x format so implicit function or implicit equation is nothing but the function it is a form of a function having a several variables having a several variable that means directly they will give y is equal to f of x in chain rule or function of a function rule but in implicit function first of all we have to make y is equal to f of x format then we have to differentiate as per implicit function ok so first our task for one example I will give you x minus y is equal to some constant I am taking of pi x minus y is equal to pi where pi is a constant layer over there see here the function is x minus y is equal to 5 because this is a function implicit function more than one variable having the several variables so here variables are x and y we have studied y is equal to f of x function in terms of function of the function rule or chain rule so similarly I am going to write y is equal to that means x minus y is equal to y can I write like this x minus y is equal to y or I can write y is equal to x minus y as well x minus y as well so this is a function of x now function of x now y is equal to f of x so here f of x is what x minus y so such a type of function is known as implicit equation or implicit function if they will give implicit function like this how to differentiate that is a task in this episode is it clear? So x minus y is equal to pi, y is equal to x minus pi. How to differentiate y is equal to x minus pi? So that is dy by dx because function in terms of x now. So dy by dx is equal to derivative of x minus pi. This all x minus pi. That means derivative of x. Derivative of x is nothing but 1 minus derivative of pi that means pi is something but constant derivative of constant is something but 0 derivative of x is something but 1 so answer is so dy by dx is equal to 1 this is the way you have to differentiate 
So, implicit function task is they will give one function having a several variable. You have to make it as y is equal to f of x format. y is equal to f of x format, you have to bring out that equation. After bringing out the y is equal to f of x format, then you have to differentiate the dependence. This is clear to everyone. So, let us move on to the problems, we will understand. Okay. First problem. Find dy by dx. Find dy by dx. Y plus sin y is equal to cos x. Listen. So, control. Y plus sin y is equal to cos x. How to differentiate? See, this is a fun implicit function. Here, the function is not y is equal to f of x format. See here, y plus sin y is equal to cos x. So, first, left hand side, all the terms are in format y. Right hand side, only x terms. So far, y plus sin y is equal to cos x means left hand side is one variable, right hand side is another variable, that is nothing but x. So then I can differentiate. Now, differentiate with respect to x because we have to do this. Differentiate with respect to x. So that means d by dx of y plus sin y is equal to derivative of cos x. So derivative of cos x. D by dx, that means I am differentiating y with respect to x, that means d by dx plus d by dx of sin y is equal to derivative of cos x is nothing but minus sin x. Derivative of cos x is nothing but minus sin x. Now, dy by dx plus derivative of sin y with respect to x they are asking. So, forget about this x so far. Tiny forget about this x. Derivative of sin y is what? Cos y. I am going to write cos y. In place of x, I have y now. Yes or no? See, d by dx of, if I want to write d by dx, means function has to be in format of x. In place of x, I have y. So again, I am going to differentiate this y. That is nothing but cos y into d by dx. Yes or no? See, if I want to write d by dx of any function, the function in terms of always x. So here I have sin y. Listen here carefully. Sin y. In place of x, I have y. So I have to differentiate again this y. That y is differentiating nothing but d by dx. So d by dx is equal to minus sin x. So no. So d by dx can I take common? Can I take common? So d by by dx into one plus cos y is equal to minus sin x. Minus sin x. Therefore, therefore, dy by dx is equal to. Therefore, dy by dx is equal to minus sin x divided by one plus cos y. One plus cos y. Very easy. Provided you should know the concept of y is equal to f of x function. How to bring y is equal to f of x and basic differentiation concept. Is it clear? Is it clear to everyone? So this is something by d by dx is equal to minus sin x by 1 plus cos y. Just to go through this, this section is very important. d by dx of sin y. This section is very important. Derivative of sin y is something but cos y. In place of x, I have y. That's why I am differentiating d by dx. That's why I am writing again d by dx. Is it clear? Just to go through this. dy by dx plus d by dx of sin y is equal to minus sin x. Sin y I have differentiated cos y into dy by dx. Since that is not x, in place of x I have y, that's why I have returned dy by dx is equal to derivative of cos x is nothing but minus sin x. This is an RHS part, right hand side. So dy by dx I can take common from the left hand side. So dy by dx is equal to, uh, sorry, dy by dx into 1 plus cos y is equal to minus sin x. So if I want to find dy by dx, I have to take that to denominator that is minus sin x by 1 plus cos y which is a required result. Which is a required result. Is it clear? Uh 
Okay. So problems we are going to discuss in implicit functions. 2x plus 3y is equal to sin x and second question is xy plus y square is equal to tan of tan x plus y. So you have to find d y by dx. So to find d y by dx, listen here. So g d first given that 2x plus 3y is equal to sin x. So to find to find d y by dx, I have to differentiate with respect to x. So differentiate with respect to x. So that is d by dx of 2x plus d by dx of 3y is equal to d by dx of sin x. It's a differentiate. Now, differentiate, uh, derivative of 2x is nothing but 2 plus differentiation of 3y. 3 into d by dx is a 3 into d by dx. 3 and 3 outside d by dx is equal. Derivative of sin x is nothing but cos x. So, 3 d y by d x is equal to cos x minus 2 because I want to find d y by d x therefore d y by d x is equal to cos x minus 2 divided by this is the required answer for d y by d x is it clear? let's go through this d y d x of 3 y is nothing but 3 and taking outside d y by d x is equal to derivative of sin x is nothing but cos x so 3 d by dx is equal to cos x minus 2. Therefore d by dx is equal to cos x minus 2 divided by 3. Now, second question is x y plus y square is equal to tan x plus y. Don't consider tan of x plus y. Tan x is one function plus y is another function. So differentiate with respect to x. What? Differentiate with respect to x. That means d by dx of x y plus d by dx of y square is equal to derivative of tan x plus derivative of y. Derivative of y. Yes or no? No. Derivative of x y. This is nothing but a product rule. What is product rule? That is f of x into g dash of x plus g of x into f dash of x. That means u v u. That means u dash v plus v dash u. So similarly, the derivative of x y, that means first function into second function of the derivative plus second function into first function of the derivative. That means derivative of x is nothing but 1. y into 1 is y. So this answer is derivative of x y. Now plus derivative of y square. First of all, for, forget about this x. So at for time being, Derivative of y square is what? Derivative of x square is 2x. Derivative of m square 2m. Derivative of p square 2p. Derivative of y square is something but 2 by d into d by d by dx. d by by dx. In place of x either y, that's why I am differentiate d by dx. Is equal to derivative of tan x is something but secant square x into d by by dx. So now d by dx. Now x d y by dx plus y plus 2y d y by dx is equal to secant square x plus d y by dx plus d y by dx. So here we have d y by dx terms and combining d y by dx terms. So I am writing one side all the d y by dx terms and right hand side which is not given by dx terms here. So, x into d by by dx plus 2y d by by dx minus d by by dx is equal to minus d by by dx. This is the minus. Minus d by by dx is equal to y. Sorry. 6 squared is equal Secant square x minus y. So, no? Secant square x. Minus y plus y, that side will go minus y, that's why minus y. Now, all the terms I am taking d by dx outside, d by dx I am taking that means x plus 2y minus 1 is equal to secant square x minus y. Therefore, d by by dx is equal to secant square x minus y divided by x plus 2y minus y. Sorry, right answer. 
x x square x minus y divided by x plus 2y minus 1. Sorry, what happens? Is it clear? Go through this very important problem, this one. Very important. x y plus y square is equal to tan of x plus y. Is it clear? Go through this. So third question, sin square x plus cos square y is equal to 1. Fourth question, sin square y plus cos of x y is equal to k. Okay. So third question, sin square x plus cos square y is equal to 1. First of all, I am going to write sin square x as sin x the whole square. Can I write? Plus cos y the whole square is equal to 1. Now differentiate with respect to x. Differentiate with respect to x in the sense. What is x square differentiation? 2x. So 2 into sin x into derivative of sin x is nothing but cos x. So now see x square means 2 into sin x. 2 into sin. In place of x I have sin x. So I have to replace x by sin x into in place of x sin of sin x, that's why I am again differentiating with respect to x, that's d by dx of sin x. Plus, now, 2 into cos y into d by y, sorry, 2 into cos y, 2 into cos y, into derivative of cos y is minus sin y into d by y, dx is equal to 0. Understood or not? Once again, I explain that. Differentiate with respect to x. Listen here. Differentiate with respect to x. That's why 2 into sin x into derivative of sin x. In place of x, I have sin x. That's why sin x. So far, here. Plus 2 into x power n. So in place of x, I have cos. So 2 cos y. Derivative of cos y is what? Minus sin y. In place of x, I have y. That's why d by by dx. Nested up. Okay. So 2 sin x into derivative of sin x plus 2 cos y into minus sin y into d by dx. So that is 2 sin x into derivative of sin x is cos x plus 2 cos y into minus sin y into d y by dx is equal to 0 because constant derivative is 0 derivative of constant is 0 now 2 sin x into cos x plus minus is there so plus into minus is minus so minus 2 sin y cos y into d y by dx is equal to 0 dx is equal to 0 now listen to that 2 sin x cos x is equal to this minus 2 entire term that side will go plus 2 so 2 sin y cos y dy by dx this all now therefore dy by dx is equal to 2 sin x into cos x divided by 2 sin y cos y 2 sin y cos y 2 2 will be cancelled so sin x cos x divided by sin y cos y is a required result. Once again, I repeat this step. Listen here carefully. In place of x, I have sin x. So that 2x. So that means in place of x, I have sin x. That's why I have written 2 sin x. Into derivative of sin x. In place of x, I have sin x. That's why I have to differentiate again with respect to x. That is sin x. Plus 2 cos y, same concept, 2 cos y into derivative of cos y is minus sin y in place of y, so in place of x I have y, that's why dy by dx. Is it clear? So if it is cos x means this term will not come, 2 cos x sin x will come. Is understood? So 2 sin x into derivative of sin x is nothing but cos x plus 2 cos y minus sin y into dy by dx is equal to 0, 2 sin x cos x minus plus into minus is minus 2 sin y cos y into dy by dx is equal to 0 dy this minus 2 that side will go plus 2 so 2 sin y cos y dy by dx so dy by dx is equal to 2 sin x cos x divided by 2 sin y cos y 
Sorry, let us start. Is it clear? Practice, then only you will understand. Don't see like, simply don't see the video. While seeing the video, just to do practice, then only you will understand. Is it clear? So, move on to the next question. Sin square y plus, sin square y plus cos of x y is equal to 0. Sin square y plus cos of x y is equal to k. Some constant k. Okay. Now, given that, given that, sin square y plus cos of x y is equal to k. Differentiate with respect to x. First of all, I am writing sin y the whole square, I am writing plus cos of x y is equal to k. Now, differentiate with respect to x. So, d by dx of sin y the whole square, that means sin y the whole square means 2y. So, 2 sin y into derivative of sin y is cos y. Derivative of sin y is that we write 2 sin y cos y into d y by dx plus derivative of cos of x y into derivative of this one product rate. that means x into y dash plus y into 1 is equal to 0 this step is very important listen here carefully 2 sin y cos y into dy by dx plus derivative of cos of x y derivative of cos is nothing but that means derivative of cos of x y into in place of x i have product rate. that means x y so I have differentiated that also right so x into y dash plus y. See, d by dx, we can write y dash also. Okay, that's why I am writing y dash. This y dash is something but d by dx. So x into y dash plus y is equal to 0. Now, that is 2 sin y cos y d by by dx plus derivative of cos of, derivative of cos is something but minus sin x y into x y dash plus y is equal to 0. Just to go through this. Just go through this. Now, minus sin of x y into x y dash plus y is equal to 0. First I am going to remove in the bracket. So 2 sin y cos y d y by dx plus into minus is minus sin of x y into x y dash plus into minus is minus. Minus into plus will be minus sin of x y into y is equal to 0. This or not, this is y dash is something but dy by dx. So here we have dy by dx term. So I am taking dy by dx term outside. So dy by dx into that is 2 sin y cos y minus sin of x y into x is equal to sin of x y into y. This one. This minus sin of x y I am taking that side. So sin of x y into is it clear? So therefore dy by dx is equal to therefore dy by dx is equal to listen again. Therefore dy by dx is equal to sin of x y into y divided by this denominator 2 2 sin y cos y minus sin of x y into x. Of x, y into x. Is it clear? Is it clear to everyone? So, first and all, I am removing the bracket this step. Plus into minus is minus. Sin of x, y into x, y, sin of x, y into x, y dash. So, y dash will be there. Minus. See, plus into minus is minus. Minus into plus, minus. Sin of x, y into y is equal to 0. This entire term without d by d x term, this term is not having d by dx. So, that I am taking that side. So that is sin of x y into 
y. So remaining terms we have y dash dy dx. So dy dx are taking outside 2 sin y cos y minus sin of x y into x. This y dash I have taken already outside. Is equal to this one. Therefore dy dx is equal to right hand side divided by this term. I have to take it as a denominator. Is it clear? Go through this. Practice, then only you will understand. Again and again, I am telling you, practice the problems. Then only you will get to know the real idea how to differentiate. How to take the common terms, how to take a derivative dx term one side, how to take an, uh, without take without having derivative dx to other side. Practice, then only you will get to know the real idea of differentiation. Okay? So, fifth question, very important question. If x into root of 1 plus y plus y into root of 1 plus x is equal to 0, where x is not equal to y, prove that y dash is equal to minus 1 by 1 plus x the whole square. The square is only for denominator. Okay. So first I am going to write x into root of 1 plus y is equal to minus y into root of 1 plus x. So x term one side, y terms another side. Now, in order to eliminate this square root, in order to eliminate this square root, the only way is SOBS, squaring on both sides. So, I am going to do that. SOBS, squaring on both sides is x square into 1 plus y is equal to minus y the whole square is something but y square into 1 plus x. Now, removing the bracket. So, x square plus x square y is equal to y square plus x y square. This or no? y square plus x y square. Now, that is x square minus y square plus x square y minus x y square is equal to 0. This or no? This or no? From this, I have to consider y is equal to sometimes I have to write x square minus y square plus x square y minus x y square is equal to 0. That means x minus y I can take outside into x plus y plus x y can take is equal to 0. See, a minus b into p minus q is equal to 0. This implies that a minus b is equal to 0 as well as p minus q is equal to 0. Yes or no? Similarly, x minus y is equal to 0. x minus y is equal to 0. This implies that x is equal to y. But the condition is x is not equal to y. So this condition I should not take. I should not take. That means this should be vanishes. I should not take. I should not bother about this x minus y. Remaining terms, x plus y plus x y. Yes or no? So from these two terms, can I take y outside? So x plus y into one plus x is equal to zero. X into y plus y into one plus x is equal to zero. Yes or no? From these two y plus x y, I can take y outside y into one plus x is equal to zero. From this, I have to differentiate. That is, what is y? So from that, y is equal to. So y is equal to what? Or y into 1 plus x is equal to minus x. This yes or no? So therefore y is equal to minus x by 1 plus x. Not completed. I have to differentiate dy by dx. So y is equal to minus x by 1 plus x square. This is nothing but quotient rule. What is quotient rule? Or u by p rule. Second function into first function of a derivative minus. First function into second function of the derivative divided by second function of the square or v dash u minus u dash v divided by v square. So here u is minus x, v is nothing but 1 plus x. So dy by dx or y dash is equal to first of all second function of the square. So 1 plus x the whole square and write it. Second function into first function of the derivative. So that means minus 1 minus first function into second function of the derivative. Derivative of 1 plus x is what? Derivative of constant is 0 plus derivative of x is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. So minus x into 1. So you will get 1 plus x into minus 1. 
that means minus 1 divided by 1 plus x to the square m square. Hence, is it clear to everybody? Is it clear? So 1 plus x into minus 1 minus of minus x divided by 1 plus x the whole square. So after uh, simplifying, you will get minus 1 divided by 1 plus x the whole square. Hence, broken. Is it clear? Very, very important question this one. They are asked my answer. Go through this. This one I should not bother because x is not equal to y. That's right. Since x is not equal to y, I should not bother about this x minus y. So that x plus y plus x y from these two, I can take y outside. That means 1 plus x. This is the chain step. It's the important step. From this, you should know that I should not bother about this. I have to go with this step. At this state, it has to be Okay? Understood? Go through this. So far, in this episode, we have discussed implicit functions. I suggest to practice the problems. All these five problems practice, then only you will understand the real concept of implicit function. If anyone did not subscribe my channel, please do subscribe and press the bell button. We will see the next episode.